everyone, thank you for joining me today. My name is Lola Brognano and I am a licensed clinical social worker. I am also certified in perinatal mental health. Today I'm going to be talking to nurses, labor and delivery nurses, NICU nurses, and kind of talk today a little bit about what you experience and what it can be like for the holidays because, you know, the holidays are described to us as the most wonderful time of year and sometimes it's just not like that for everyone and a lot of times people don't remember the nurses in certain experiences and that's what i'm going to be talking about today now nurses in labor and delivery and NICU they have very you know amazing fulfilling jobs but at the same time it can also be extremely emotionally taxing right because it can have pure joy in one moment that can be immediately met with heartbreak. And, you know, oftentimes when tragedy occurs for moms and families in the birth room, you know, the attention and the focus goes to baby and mom and people don't often think that the nurses in the room are also affected. And, and I'm going to talk a little bit about that today and what that is. And that is referred to as vicarious trauma otherwise known as secondary trauma. And what that is, is really, is certain populations, for example, medical professionals such as nurses or doulas, um, EMTs, people who are exposed to a wide range of experiences, especially traumatic events, they are at increased risk of vicarious trauma. And medical professionals aren't necessarily given enough attention or focus or training on how to avoid that. What does it look like and what does it do to you? How does it affect you professionally or personally? And so during the holiday season, it can be even more triggered because of all of these celebrations and multiple parties and parties that we are feeling obligated to go to. So. Vicarious trauma is very important because it absolutely interferes with our own well-being. And some of the signs of that can be changes in our eating and sleeping habits. Do we become more irritable at home and we otherwise were not? Um, we are more sad. We are more emotional, fluctuating moods notices changes, marked changes that otherwise wouldn't be matching to you. Those can be signs that we have forgotten self-care. And what's really important about self-care for you, nurses, for all of us, is to remember that self-care is not selfish. It is self-preservation. If we are not able to be present, we cannot be good professionals. And the other part of that is the flip side, is if we are not taking care of ourselves, we might be coming home with it. And that's not good for us either. We should be able to come home and go to work and have a balance with our mental status. And so as you go through the holiday season, it's gonna be very important that we practice grace as our compass. Okay, and a couple of ways that we can do that is by honoring the ways that brings us joy. We cannot forget our own joys. Okay, so if a hot cup of cocoa makes you feel good, if it's a bubble bath, if it's calling a friend as you're watching Netflix together, don't forget your own personal joys. They might have gotten pushed back because if you're not recognizing signs, okay, that you've been really kind of really exposed to a lot of trauma and have been extremely empathetic towards your patients and not empathetic towards yourself, you will increase your risk of having your own trauma. And give yourself that permission this holiday season when it's extremely stressful as it is to go with grace and practice self-care. Thank you. Okay, look, so we all know that there aren't many direct supportive services for us. There just aren't, you know, but the few that we do have, okay, we need to step up 
and become better at utilizing them. And you know, but how do we go about doing that? How do we get better at that? Well, here's a few ideas. Okay, first is we got to start taking advantage of our EAP, our employee assistance programs. They are set up for us for this very reason for support. Okay. Also, I know, I know that a lot of doulas and midwives, they start their own um, peer uh, support check-in support circles. Um, those have been very successful. Um, and of course, individual therapy is always the best route. Um, you know, you could look for trigger words under psychology today for things like vicarious trauma or secondary trauma, caregiver fatigue, compassion fatigue. Those are all terms that we use interchangeably basically for the same result. And that is that we've somehow neglected ourselves while we've been taking care of others. We've honored them but have not honored ourselves and so that is part of today of what we're talking about is how to find our way back to honoring ourselves also of course you have the option of taking you know workshops and ceus on any of these topics um anything that has to do with trauma or self-care or mindfulness those are all ways that we can add more tools to help us get through the things that we see and the things that we experience as well. Also a Facebook group that um, is also specifically targeted for perinatal medical professionals and it is called the Trauma Informed Perinatal Professionals Group. They are everyone from midwives to labor and delivery nurses, and they are on there trying to support each other. And there are a few units actually that specifically are educational tools in this group that are for vicarious trauma. And it is an absolutely amazing group. And basically that is kind of some steps that we can take to trying to get some of the support that at the end of the day really is kind of left up to us. And quickly, I'd just like to let you know about an amazing documentary video that is specifically directed towards nurses. It is called Nurses Grieve 2. Insights into experience with perinatal loss. It is authentic. It's raw. It's powerful. It is what you live every day at your jobs. And it is most likely one of the most real depictions the struggles and the trauma and the grief that you carry. Try to find a way to honor yourself this holiday season. Thank you.